Well, in 1974, we founded the New Zealand Manipulative Therapists Association. And the Australians had a similar organisation. And in their wisdom, about 10 years ago, they changed it to not the Phys Manipulative Therapy Association, but to the Musculoskeletal Therapy. And their postgraduate qualifications were not in manipulative therapy, they were in musculoskeletal therapy. And that, to me, was a serious mistake. The word manipulation, I think, is part of physiotherapy. And if you're not prepared to advertise that fact, you're going to miss out because other professions will just roll you aside. And there was a move about six years ago to change the New Zealand Manipulative Physiotherapist Association to the musculoskeletal. And I got up and spoke at the meeting. I spoke rather strongly about how useful it was to be able to say we taught manipulation when they had a chiropractic commission of inquiry some years ago. And if we haven't been teaching it or using that word in our course syllabus, um, we would have been really in big trouble as far as chiropractors were concerned. And so they did not change it to musculoskeletal. We set that group up in 1974 because we were manual manipulative therapists and that's what we set it up for, not musculoskeletal. So if you want to form a new organisation, do. But don't wipe out manual therapy. They've taken a, the word manual therapy has disappeared from the qualification. It's, it's disappeared in Auckland. It's still there in Dunedin. And I, I think that's, that's a stupid move. I don't know why they did it. And yet, more ma manual therapy is taught in Auckland to the students than Dunedin. So, 